the first time I read um, Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers, right? So I'm going somewhere. When I was reading this um, book, I could relate with the way Angel thinks. And I was like, wow, was this author in my head? How did she know the kind of thought processes I used to have? Mind you, I read this book in the year 2017. So that is um, how many years ago? Let's say about seven or six years ago, yeah. So I was like, wow, I, I think this way as well. So at that time, I didn't even understand why. But in retrospect, I know why I was having similar thought processes and similar thought patterns with Angel. It's because <laughs> the way she thinks is not the right way to actually think. The way I think is not the right way to think. It's a product of trauma. It's a product of certain experiences. Now, my story and Angel's story is not exactly the same, but we do have one thing in common, right? Which had to do with our childhood. And then for some of you who are, I mean, as you're listening to me right now, you probably have some things you're actually dealing with that you don't even know why you actually think that way. Why you deal with things the way you deal with for some persons they don't know how to be vulnerable there is a reason why you are like that for some persons you can't deal with criticism why are you like that why is it that even the most constructive criticism still gets to you and then for some persons they are highly critical why are you like that i'm saying this to say that there are many things that we actually need to heal from that we may not even be aware that we need to heal from we don't even know what is playing out you don't know why you have those insecurities why do you find it difficult to actually be happy for other people what what what, what thought processes do you have why can't you catch yourself and say no this this thing that is happening in this person's life is good i should celebrate what is going on in their life why 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 do you have a difficulty why do you have a problem with that why are you not confident why do you think you're shy what happened to you i'm saying all of this to let us know that many of us need to heal in ways and in areas that may not be exactly obvious you know areas that may be seemingly oblivious but we do need to heal for example, like I said, when I was reading that um, book, Redeeming Love by Francie Rivers, <laughs> don't worry, I don't, I don't think like that right now, but it was actually really my life, like literally almost through the book, I was like, wow, we were thinking alike, and that was a fictitious novel, yet that was my reality, the author does not know me, but I'm telling you, myself and Angel had the same thought pattern. At least, maybe not 100%, but most of it. The way she reflects, the way she thinks internally in that novel was similar to mine. That was because something was wrong with me. I had something I needed to heal from. And this is me being, I mean, just sharing here because I'm being vulnerable and it is strength to be vulnerable. But what about you? What about you? Do you even know the things you need to heal from? Do you even understand why you think the way you think? Do you understand why you have the kind of insecurities you have? Do you know what played out? Are you going to continue in that way and then perpetuate it to the person you get married to, to your colleagues at work, or even to your children? Because if you don't heal, you will not be able to take the lead over your life as you should. And I'm sharing all this to remind you that the Heal and Lead conference is coming very soon. And you should register and be a part of it. The link is there on this video and is going to be attached to this post as well. Sign up and be a part of it. Our plans is to have it online so the logistics of you having to leave your house won't be there. And the good thing is that you can always go back to, you know, watch again and let God speak to your heart again. So, see you at Elan Lead Conference. My name is John Anulua. Bye for now.